Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back for another episode of the Skyblock Duo series here on royal.mchub.com. If you guys want to come check out the server, it is Java and Bedrock compatible, so definitely hop on. It doesn't matter which version you're playing. You guys can come hop on, play the exact same server, the exact same realm that I am playing right now. But anyways, guys, in the last episode of Skyblock, if you can't tell, we ended up maxing out this money farm that I am standing on right now. We got every single spawner tier to level 750. That is the max that our island, like, allows us to, you know, upgrade them to. The next increase, like, you can upgrade them to level 1,000, but you need island level like 280 or something and that would cost like a trillion dollars right now so definitely don't have the money for that so this is going to be a maxed out farm for quite some time we have like a hundred spawners of each spawner type here like we got like a hundred villagers 99 we have a hundred zombified pigments and we also have 100 Endermite spawners. So they're all level 750. They are all going to this drop down right over here, as you guys can tell. And what I have been doing is I've been popping spawner boosters. Now, I think, am I out? I might be out of, no, okay. We got some two and a half hour ones down here. We got a couple, but I've just been popping these. It doubles the spawn rates of the spawners obviously so it's just more money now guys in today's episode we got a lot of stuff that we need to get done i'm actually going to be doing a bit of a strategy today and that strategy is with the slash collections now you guys have already known about the guardian collections that we've been doing been doing this challenge for a really long time we have it all the way upgraded to like level five or level six and we have a 1.5 xl multiplier on all guardian loot which is really good for our grinder robots, if we just go to slash home home, we get a 1.5 XL multiplier on all of these guys, right? But now that we max out this money farm over here, I kind of want to get a cell multiplier on as much loot as possible coming from our money farm. Because overnight, literally from sleeping, we made almost $50 billion in the last episode, which is absolutely insane, man. I just, there's nothing else to say. 50 bill overnight from doing nothing, took no effort that is a lot of cash and currently i just realized we are is top number seven so we're right here oh is top number six we could pass them right now we might be able to pass is top number five and then is top number four is top number three those are looking a little bit more expensive but now that we have maxed out all of our spawners all right our guardians are maxed that money farm is maxed we don't really have to spend money on anything else besides upgrading our island level and i have a hundred eight billion dollars right now now bell top that's uh what bro how is that bell top number one i really didn't think that was going to be bell top number one but i guess we're still like the richest player balance wise at this very moment but still again in this episode we're not even really going to be focused on getting the most amount of island levels as possible this episode we are going to be focusing on slash collections and instead of the guardian loot if i fly up to this cvu over here you guys will see how much loot we are actually getting from villagers look at this there's 6.6 .6 million emeralds in this collector's box bro so these emeralds stack up ridiculously fast and i don't have any cell booster on these right now these emeralds are actually coming from the villagers if we do slash shop i believe it'll actually say you guys can see at the bottom villager spawners drops emeralds so we have an abundance of emeralds here and if i could get a cell multiplier on this that would be absolutely huge at least i think because we can also get a cell multiplier on these ender pearls but the problem with that is these ender pearls are being transformed into enchanted gold ingots with our recipes right here and dimensional ingots they both use ender pearls oh wait I mean, the gold actually doesn't use ender pearls. It uses emeralds, but yeah, we only have two ender pearls in here. So I don't know if technically a dimensional ingot will count towards endermite loot cell multipliers. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. I don't know. I'm really bad at explaining, but yeah, in today's episode, I am going to be getting our cell multiplier up on these emeralds. Definitely going to let this CBU stack up until maybe it's fully maxed out. I don't know because we maxed this thing out in the last episode and we can hold a hundred million items of each item in here, which is a lot so i might let that thing stack up and in the meantime it just farm out the levels for that cell multiplier and plus we have a souls 100 sword and actually i am going to be working on a second souls 100 sword as well because i keep this sword in my inventory basically 24 7 which means countdown can't actually grind souls because i always had the sword so i think we're just going to make a secondary one so that way he can grind whenever he wants i can grind whenever i want so that's another thing that we're going to be focusing on but really quickly let's do slash collections one more time and we 
we have to look at the challenge because this one right here, you obviously have to kill villagers. What? No shot. My man is grinding chickens, brother. What are you doing? I don't know what challenge grinding chickens is for, but that is that is crazy. You guys can see he already has souls 29, but I I literally told him that I was just about to grind. So I don't know if he if he wants to grind right now, but like if he can take his freaking chicken spawner because we are going to need to grind blazes. So let's come over here. We are going to buy a blaze spawner. It's literally 13 million dollars. That is nothing. Oh, he said doing chickens for collections. Okay, well I was just curious if he was going to grind because I plan on doing a pretty long grinding spree right here to not only get souls, but also grind out my collections as well. So I actually, I'm curious as to what Countdown's collections even are at. I don't know the answer to that, but I wonder if they're high, bro, because if they're higher than mine, maybe this isn't worth it, but I kind of doubt that. I don't know. Um, We're also going to be popping shard boosters if I have any. Oh, okay. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we got a lot of hours worth of uh, 2x shard boosters here. So we're going to pop that. We're going to go to our controls, change that, change that. Boom. There we go. And then all we got to do is hold space bar and slash collections did i actually update this okay no i didn't so we need to upgrade our villager loot right here and as you guys can see objective is kill twenty five thousand blazes so boom activate the villager collection and now every blaze that we kill should be going towards that challenge right there so let's just kill a couple slash collections just to make sure it's working and it is so listen i'm gonna take a cut right now I don't know how many levels I'm really going to get off camera. Ideally, I think it's going to be two levels, which is going to give us a 1.2x multiplier or 1.3x. I kind of forgot on all villager loot, which means all emerald. So while we're grinding this, we're also going to be stacking up shards clearly and upgrading another souls 100 sword. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to take a cut right here. We are going to grind a ton off camera and hopefully this meta is going to pay off. Okay, guys, finally, we are back and I have been grinding a decent amount off camera. It's like the complete next day or something between the last clip. I don't actually really know. But either way, we have been putting in some work. All right. So you guys already know I was working on the collections. So that way we can get a cell multiplier on emeralds, right? Well, if I do slash collections, we have made it all the way to like level three or level four. I really forget, but we are going to buy this upgrade right now. Had to kill another 84,000 villagers. And then the next upgrade is going to be 115,000. But now we have a 1.3 X cell multiplier on all emeralds. And keep in mind, we have a ridiculous amount of emeralds, okay? But uh, looking right now, our grinder robots are ready to be sold. So let's go ahead and pop a 2.5x booster. But actually, let's go check on the CBU first, bro. Oh, wait, no, I remember Countdown saying this thing was full. Let me cut. Oh my God. This thing is for sure full. Okay, we are gonna be selling the CBU in this clip as well. If we take a look, 100 million emeralds in here guys we are going to be getting a 1.3 xl multiplier on every single one of these emeralds so hopefully that is going to amount to a decent amount of money actually if we do slash um shop real quick we can see how much extra money we're going to get actually nah, that's kind of a lot of that's a lot of math that's a lot of work so let's go ahead and scratch that but actually i believe we should have our spawner g kit yeah we do and that is going to give us a 2 xl wand as well We'll pop all of these just to see if we get like any shard pouches and we did we got some so listen I believe the smartest strategy is gonna be to use the 2x cell one on all of these grinder robots because I also have a 1.5x multiplier on all guardian loot so I mean I think we're probably just gonna use the cell one on that and I think um obviously guardian loot sells for more money anyway just like base price so it's probably what we're gonna use it on and let me pop all of these pouches real quick see if we get anything really worthwhile it does not look like it but we are gonna start the selling process right now slash boosters we need a pretty long 2.5x if we have one 15 minutes that's perfect we are gonna start hitting cells on these guys with the 2x wand as well making 350 million from the max bedrock grinders that is really good we are already down to 40k uses so i don't think we're gonna be able to use this on the cbu like at all or actually no 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 we might be able to i might have lied we should have some uses left not too many but at least a decent amount boom boom and we're gonna have 20,000 uses left to use on the cbu but before we sell this thing i'm gonna withdraw a oh, wait how do you do it? Is it money? Oh my god, you can't withdraw money. If you do slash IS bank, though, I believe you can deposit it in there, right? Or like IS vault? Is that it? Okay, boom, credits. I want to put all of my credits in here. Deposit. 
Oh no. Does this work? Okay. All right, listen. I deposited almost all my money in there and now let's go ahead Hit this with the 2x. Made 18 billion, but we're also gonna have a lot more. We didn't even sell any of the emeralds. Holy hell. All right, let's hit it with the infinite sell one. See how much money we make it out with. Boom, 47 billion. And it was overflowing, so that does kind of suck. Look at all of the emeralds we were missing out on, but it is what it is. All right, we still made it out with 66 billion dollars from our faller grinder. Again, this takes no effort. All we do is legit AFK. But now let me go back into my slash IS bank. I am gonna, or wait, IS vault. I'm gonna need my money back. So guys, we took a bit of a cut, but now I am at a whopping 335 billion credits and I actually need to come over here. We are gonna grab this soul's 39 sword and we are going to enchant it because you guys know I was grinding the collections and I am at 1.7 million shards. So that should be way more than enough to max out the souls on our secondary sword. Boom, it's at level 89 and bang. Just max that thing out. We still have 640k left over that I don't really know what to spend on. I might check out AH because listen, if I come take a look at our island, we do actually have two extra robot slots available. But the problem is whenever you're selling these grinders consistently, the guardian spawners actually die off. Like the stack will die off because it's not efficient enough, even though... We have this thing at level 750, which is the max level for our island. The problem is we also have 24 guardian spawners on the entire island because we just had so many grinder robots. So currently it really makes no more sense to what the bro, what the, this stack is going rogue. What the hell? It got out of the grinder. But yeah, we really can't put any more grinder robots down because the farms already aren't like the maximum efficiency. So just placing more down would make it less efficient. But we are missing a robot right here on our cocoa bean farm. And since we just have two extra slots not being used at all, I could just buy two bedrock farmer robots, right? And then we'll have to make one more layer, but that's fine. So let me see. Slash AH. There's got to be some on here. These are minor robots that we do not want. We want a farmer. Oh, bedrock farmer right here 78,000 shards i don't know if that's overpriced but at this point i don't really care bro we're just gonna buy it and see if we can find one more just so we're maximizing the amount of money and boom farmer right here for 80k i'm gonna go ahead and buy that all right so let's go ahead and get this guy down right here and we are gonna have to make a whole nother layer of the cocoa bean farm but it's definitely gonna be worth it because actually i mean they need to sell anyway let's go ahead and pop a 2x booster real quick these things are making us um 150 million each. So that is 300 million dollars every single time we sell that we're missing out on, which is basically every 20 minutes. So every 20 minutes, we're missing 300 mil that we could be having even though, you know, it like costs us nothing to get. That is 900 million every single hour that we are missing out on, and that's just extra cash that we could definitely be using. So Let's go ahead and sell all of our robots again. And actually, we took a pretty long cut just randomly. So our CBU might be filled up. Countdown's AFK in it, so I don't know if he sold recently. But let's take a look at this thing. What is in here? I mean, 29 uh, million emeralds. So we'll go ahead and sell that. Made a quick $16 billion once again. And that puts us at $358 billion. Let's come over here and we are just going to spend all of the money on island levels because we have nothing else that we need to spend our cash on, literally. Like, absolutely nothing. And we can afford all the way up to level 262. And this will actually increase our max placed robots to 31. So wait, how many Coco... Oh my god. That upgraded our robot limit by 2 again or what? Because it said 31 and right now we're at 29. Obviously, this takes a little minute to update... Oh, it just went to 31. Okay. Well, that means I'm going to need to buy two more farmer robots. Let's see if that's even on AH at the moment. I mean, there's a bedrock grinder. I can definitely afford it. It's just the fact, like, is there anybody selling them, bro? Oh, farmer for 90k. That is a little overpriced, but at this point, I don't really care. So we might have to buy that. Let me see if I can find an obsidian farmer instead. This one's 60k. That is super overpriced. Okay, that's why these things haven't sold. Let me go back to the first page. That's a minor grinder grinder. Okay, we got some farmers right here, but that, that would still amount to a lot more than what they're actually worth. All right, we're going to buy this bedrock over here for 90k, and then I'm going to have to overpay for these ones over here, right? Because that's going to that's gonna equal 118,000 shards if we buy both of these obsidian farmer robots and then combine them to make a bedrock. So... Is there any of them cheaper or no? Because it is not looking like it. Nah. Okay. 
Yeah, we're just gonna have to overpay, bro. It's fine. There we go. Boom, combine that. We now have three extra bedrock robots, and that is gonna equal a lot of extra money every single hour. But building three layers of this cocoa bean farm, oh, bro, it's brutal. Okay, placing all of the logs and then all of the cocoa beans, it sucks. I'm not gonna lie to you, but... It'll be worth it in the long run, so let me go ahead, take a cut, and we are gonna add a couple more layers to this cocoa bean farm. And boom, there we go. We finally got all of it done, and look, it's been so long that the robots down here are already completely filled up again. So we'll hit a sell on those, but we need to add three more of these bedrock robots real quick, and we'll place a cocoa bean right there. Just noticed that was missing, but let's go ahead and get these down. Um, I am gonna need like a couple of blocks here. Okay, this is gonna be the first one that we are adding. We'll place that boom place the farmer and then break that block by above right here as well Boom and then break that block and then the final layer. There we go We have added an extra four farmer robots and quick maths if everyone is making 150 million each you times that by four that is 600 million dollars that we have just increased every single like 20 minutes I would say which is almost two billion dollars an hour Hour. And then, you know, obviously, if you want to do in a day, that is going to be almost $48 billion every single day. And yeah, these robots over here are ready to be sold again. Um, Let's see, is this farm? I don't know if these are even getting AFK. I don't know. They are. Okay, yeah. Every single robot is ready to be sold again. And we do have another 2x sell one, so I might as well grab this and then we will pop a 2.5x and then sell everything real quick we might be able to get like one extra item level in this episode but that is gonna be it and yo tell me why off camera i was talking to countdown and apparently countdown literally has a full sinful set if you guys don't know a sinful set doubles the amount of money you make from everything it just doubles your cell multiplier i forget which set i have on right now i believe it's the ender set and i think that gives me a 0.5x cell booster but that sinful set would give me a 1x cell booster like increase so i mean those that would be really nice to have to be honest so we kind of need that and then i'm just gonna come sell the cbu just for you know just to do it boom there we go and then slash hub and how much money are we at we are now at 29 billion let's see if that is enough for one island level but i mean honestly that might be we'll see let's let me take a look over here um um we are island level 262 and it is enough for level 263. You don't get anything from it, but we'll just upgrade the next level. You guys can see these levels are getting insanely expensive, bro. So we fell off on IS top quite a bit because we have been slacking. But I mean, we're still on the IS top 10 page. You know what I'm saying? So it's still not too bad, especially as a duo. Like we are beating a lot of islands on the server over here. Like that's a full island. This one, almost a full island, full island, full island, like... This is a duo right here, but I don't know. Maybe they did a buy craft deal to buy an island. I, I don't know, dude. I have no clue. Either way, we are still a super rich duo on the server. We are beating a ton of islands, but I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. In the next episode, I think I might want to try and grab Countdown Sinful Set. I can't lie to you because uh, I'd be selling a lot. So if we can get that sell multiplier on like all of the grinder robots, we will be making so much more money it would be ridiculous especially whenever we sell the cbu bro you basically shouldn't sell that thing unless you have the sinful set because it's just gonna give you so much more extra money and i didn't even know countdown had one also on slash collections there is a way to upgrade your cocoa bean cell multiplier as well but you have to farm pumpkins Farming 25,000 pumpkins on, like, this type of skyblock is definitely a lot whenever you could just farm 25,000 villagers way faster to increase your cell multiplier on something else. But, I mean, this is a thing. So, maybe somebody wants to experiment with that and try that. I'm personally not going to. But, I mean, who knows? It could make you a decent amount of money. But, farming 25,000 pumpkins when there's just other options for money it just isn't worth it. i know a ton of like the high pixel skyblock players are like oh 25,000 pumpkins is nothing which i mean obviously i could grind it out if i really wanted to but it's just like there's no point you know because instead of grinding 25,000 pumpkins i could probably grind like 75,000 just regular mobs in the meantime and you know upgrade my cell multiplier on like my guardians or something so yeah it's just kind of useless but anyways guys that is gonna go ahead and do it for this skyblock episode if you guys did enjoy, be sure you guys drop a like, sub if you guys are new, come check out the server, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Skyblock.